A major development that would include more than 200 single-family homes and dozens of apartments in Pocosin is meeting resistance. That's right. A lot of people nearby don't agree with the location and they're concerned about the environmental impact. Nico Clemens has the latest on the pushback. It's a project that's raising concerns for Pocosin residents. This scale of a development is, is really not appropriate for Pocosin. And they're voicing those concerns to city leaders. Could have routed the road around here. We're talking about the proposed legacy of Pocosin project, which includes more than 500 homes on 101 acres along Victory Boulevard. Randy Trestrail and Bobby Weston argue the project is not a good fit for their water conscious community. Very high density, much higher than anywhere else. Um, and it changes the whole character of Pocosin. Their main concerns include traffic congestion, stormwater issues, and the impact a development this size would have on water quality in the area. Nearly 10 acres of wetlands would be impacted by the project. Even if they cut back 10% on the amount of this, they could avoid most of the the most sensitive wetlands that we're, we're concerned about. In a recent survey asking Pocosin residents what would be appropriate for the Big Woods area, more people preferred a public park or field rather than single or multifamily homes. The State Water Control Board has already approved a permit to move forward with the project. All that's left now is for the developers to submit a development plan for staff review. Citizens need to watch this development like a hawk. But Trust Trail and Weston plan to fight until the end. In Pocosin, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.